I will share what I have learned in this subject. Um, before going to this subject, I already know that this subject is about Philippine literature and um, myth mythical stories. Uh, when I was in grade 9, when we have Philippine history, we had knowledge about the pre-Spanish uh, period, which uh, when the Philippines is still in the range of um, Where Philippines, it's still in the range of animus, which means that uh, Filipino believes that every tree, every animal, it's a part, uh, has his or her own thoughts. It's a part of the nature and will have their own insights. This is why when I uh, come inside this class, I am a little bit excited. Uh, however, going through the background history, uh, background story that we have seen, I can see that yes, there are s some of the creatures that we can still see um, the pure Philippines, but a lot of it already has the image of Western culture. Just like when we are going into the uh, first material, when we see the when we see the different kind of creatures that are in the Philippine mythology, uh, there are a lot of uh, monsters that it's similar to Western creatures and the way to defeat them is also similar with the western culture. Unlike in China where the whole set of monster and story has been passed on and on and it has a whole trail of uh, it has a whole system of the different kind of monster and how to defeat it uh, the Filipino monsters and creatures has already distorted because of the Western culture that is brought inside. For example, the Mangalak, which looks similarly with um, the the monster from um, Magnificent. When I am searching about Meng Luck, uh, there, the, there are several pictures that came out, which is just the movie screenshot of the movie Magnificent, which the other images also looked similar with the movie sh screenshot from Magnificent. And also, the monster Serena and Silkoi, we can see clearly that um, how this is a combination of the creature Siren and the creature Mermaid. Um, they all have human body and fish tail and all has a super amazing voice which can um, control people's mind. 
Going to the urban legend part, we can also see that there is a lot of stories that are synonym to the Western stories. Uh, the way to the way to defeat the monsters from the urban legends, a lot of it is to use garlic or holy water. Garlic or holy water, which made me a little bit disappointed because uh, in in Chinese urban legends or in Chinese traditional myth, uh, when we are defeating monsters, there are different kind of things that we use. Like for example, ride rope, uh, the blood of the dead dead dog, dead black dog, and um, the sticky rice. And the zombie of China is also differentiated from the zombie from the Western world. However, I like the part where we have to create the modern story uh, of our creature. I can see that a lot of my classmates are really creative and talented. They give really nice stories. Um, I feel like this is more interesting than the original story. When I am doing the homework of the urban legend, I reached out to several of my friends, uh, classmates and Filipino Chinese friends to ask about what are the urban legend stories that they have heard. I found out that most of the urban legend stories happened in school and especially in the old school. Uh, I think that I think the reason of this is because teenagers are the biggest group of people that has curiosity and has imagination and are bored, which they will create story to either scare their classmates or to scare themselves. After reading the story of Tris, I cannot differentiate this story much from the Western story. I am not sure if this is because I have stayed in the Philippines for so long, which I got used to something here or it's because that Philippine is just uh, much influenced by the Western world. Um, in the most basic, the costume that Therese is wearing look similar with the costume of Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. Actually, when I am creating the shoebox diagram, um, what I am thinking instead of Therese, it's more like uh, Mavis from Hotel Transylvania when I am building the face. Only until the part where I go to the clothes, I went back to the images and um, book of Therese, which the clothes also look similar with the clothes that vampire would wear uh, in the Western stories. I believe that asking us to create uh, PowerPoints to present it in 
front of the whole class. It's a really nice way to help us uh, understand what we learned because by telling the story to other people will make us more uh, familiar with what we have already learned and will make us think about uh, how to show this to other people. By watching the presentation of my classmates, it helped me to understand more about the class and showed me how talented my classmates are. It is really nice to hear from them and to learn from them. And a little bit more of the insights that I want to talk about. It's that um, this is not my interest and it is not my culture. But however, I am hoping that uh, whoever is studying Philippine history uh, we'll be able to dig into more about what happened and what are the story before the pre-Spanish uh, pre colonialism uh, period. I understand that because a lot of the words and language is already removed from the Philippine society during the colonialism uh, and when there is no word written record it is hard to chase back into the history but uh, I am giving my most sincere hope that uh, Filipino will be able to dig more into the past and um, find out what are the story behind the whole thing even before the Western culture start to influence the Philippines. In conclusion, this whole term is a very meaningful term, which I had learned a lot from this from this subject. I was able to uh, I was able to show my classmates what I have learned from the class by presenting inside the class, which will make me think and try to rearrange the words inside my head to present it to my classmates. Uh, when I am listening from my classmates, I am able to learn from my classmates and uh, try to compare and contract the information inside my head. And um, when I am reading the books about the Philippine histories, about the Philippine methodology, I am able to compare it inside my head with the Western stories and the uh, Chinese culture story, which is really convenient for me because I am a person who has both truth knowledge about all of it. I found it very interesting. Overall, um, I am really happy with this subject. This was a really nice term and uh, hope for the best for the Philippine history researcher to dig more into the stories uh, back then and hope the best for all my classmates um, when 
they are pursuing two different careers, this will always be a part of their history.